Henry averages nearly triple the rushing yards per game compared to their losses mm. and has double the rushing touchdowns. Henry's 1325 rushing yards rank as the fifth most by any player through the first 12 games with a team in NFL history. So Stephen A, the question is simple. I don't know about the answer. If Henry gets the ball more, where is Baltimore ranked in the NFL? They could end the season number one as Super Bowl champions because they're that potent when Derrick Henry has the ball in his hands. This man is a man child. He runs over people. Did you see him last night again, Shannon? Did you see him, Dom? I mean, just 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 <laughs> running mean, over people. But, uh, you know, just giving them the stiff arms and everything. Swatting them <laughs> away like flies. I mean, to watch him in person, you just marveled at the fact that these grown men in shape, were extremely well conditioned, what have you, were being treated like toys. You had to gang tackle him in order to get him down. He was just that ferocious. And this was him just rushing for 140 yards, okay? This wasn't him going for 199 or 190 or something like that. This is who he is. And when it is not an accident that when he rushes for more than 90 yards, the Baltimore Ravens are undefeated this year. The times that they've lost is when he hasn't. Okay, so I'm looking at it from that standpoint. Again, that doesn't mean that Detroit wouldn't beat them. It doesn't mean that Kansas City or Buffalo couldn't beat them. I'm simply saying when he's not getting the ball and he's not rushing the football, the Baltimore Ravens are losing the last place teams, okay, or to somebody like the Pittsburgh Steelers. When he gets the ball, they beat everybody. I don't think that's a coincidence or an accident, and I think that's what we should pay attention to. The result is you're winning games, you're dominating teams, you're going to run the ball more, and you're going to have more stats. It feels kind of like saying, like, when I wear shorts, I'm hotter. But no, I'm wearing shorts because it's hot outside. The shorts aren't what's making me hot. It's the sun. And it feels like they have the lead in their dominating teams and teams that have weaker run defenses. They're going to get lots of um, yards for Derrick Henry. Those things are not necessarily connected. I think it's a result of them dominating the game. In some of these games, Derrick Henry gets a big game or has a big game because he goes for a long run. It's not because they've handed it to him more. It's because he happens to go for a 50 or 60 yard run when he doesn't do that they can still have success some of their best offensive drives this year have been with Derrick Henry on the sideline in key situation where this team has had to come back from behind so yeah if Derrick Henry is going to get the ball 30 times the Ravens are probably going to win you know why because they probably have a two touchdown lead in the second half and they're trying to run out the clock is if they are down by two touchdowns handing the ball to Derrick Henry repeatedly like it's not the worst strategy in the world but it's not a good strategy Shannon but here's the problem that you have. The worst part of your football team is your defense. When you go three and out, you put your defense on the field. What's the, what would you consider the weakest part of the Ravens team? It's their secondary, correct, Fox? Am I wrong? Yeah, yes, right. I mean, what would you say? You're right. So if I want to keep them off the field, I want to keep the ball in Derrick Henry's hand. This kind of reminds me when we was in Denver, when we got Terrell Davis. John Elway was an MVP. He had gone to three Super Bowls. Now, in, 90, in 96, we're 13 and three. We had run TD, TD had fifth, over 1,500 yards. We get to that division around the playoffs, and all of a sudden, we forgot how we got there. We gave the ball TD 14 times for 91 yards. We ended up losing to Jacksonville. That was the last time TD ever rushed for under 100 yards in a playoff game. And we never lost another playoff game in which Terrell Davis was in the backfield. So we won seven consecutive playoff games in back-to-back -back Super Bowls. I'm telling you, Baltimore Ravens, you see the Eagles? Look how the Eagles look. Because they're, they're going to give the ball to Saquon, and Saquon is going to do Saquon things. Now, the question is, it's, it's really simple. Now, you can throw the ball and dilly-dally around and, yeah. and throw it more than you run it. But that's not your recipe, Baltimore, for success. Sh Shannon, I'm glad you brought that up. Stephen A., I want to come to you on that. Which offense do you feel like is more dangerous? Is it Philly with Saquon, or is it the Ravens with Derrick Henry? Well, I think it's Philadelphia because of the multitude of weapons surrounding Saquon Barkley. Devontae Smith didn't play the last game, but when he's back, he's there. You've got your tight end. You've got A.J. Brown, okay? And you have what many would consider to be an elite offensive line, and Jalen Hurts can run with the football as well. He's no Lamar Jackson running with the football, but he certainly can run with the football. And so I look at the bevy of weapons that they have. Even though Bateman showed up last night, Hill showed up last night, along with Henry and Lamar Jackson, the fact is when you look at the potency uh, you and you contemplate the potency of Baltimore offense, you're, comp you're primarily thinking about Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry. Well, in Philadelphia, 
they got a longer list of individuals to look at. And that's AJ why I'm Brown. Saying. Yeah, I think, I mean, AJ Brown is special. I, I think he gets underappreciated a little bit, but I will push back on it because I think you're right. The Eagles have more explosive weapons, but the okay. combination of Lamar and Derrick Henry to me, it's so much better. And, like, it's statistically proven out. They have one of the best offenses in history right now. And I think it's in part because I get yes. this, Shannon. I don't want them dilly-dallying with the ball. I want them to run it. But it's in part because Lamar Jackson leads the league in passing yards. Like, Lamar Jackson has gone from a, a 32nd overall pick that some people thought may not even be a quarterback in this league to the best passer in football without losing a step as a, run, as a runner with the ball. So that, to me, makes this offense so, so special. Special. But, but but I got to challenge both of y'all only from the standpoint that y'all religiously remind us that they lost the two last place teams, okay, and they couldn't beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. And so, again, I know in terms of potential what you're talking about with those two, but I'm looking at their results this season right. in the games, not only the ones that yeah. they won, but the ones that they lost. Go ahead, yeah, Shannon. sometimes Todd Munkin and, and, and John Harbaugh are their worst enemies. They start doing things. We see when Derrick Henry gets the ball at least 20 times, they're 5-0, and oh, and when he doesn't, you should never leave a game in which Derrick Henry has less than 20 carries. Now, Stephen, if you don't mind me asking, who's the offensive coordinator for the Philadelphia Eagles? Oh, Lord. Kellen Moore, Kellen Moore. formerly of the Dallas Cowboys. Oh! I, I'm just trying to figure... <laughs> not that Kellen Moore. Not that Kellen Moore. That he, he, all he wants to do is throw the football. Oh, he wants... Oh, I'm just saying... I agree. Look, I think Lamar Jackson is a more explosive. I think he's more explosive and a better and you believe this. He's a better thrower of the football than Jalen Hurts. Yeah. But I have no I have no qualms that Kellen Moore is going to put those guys in the best position. Sometimes I think Todd Monk and I'm like, bro, y'all trying to do too much, man. Come on, bro. Sometimes I just want a burger with ketchup. You ain't got to put you. egg. You ain't got to put avocado. I don't need bacon. I don't need pepper jack cheese. I don't need all that other stuff. Man, sometimes just give I me a burger, know. cook medium with ketchup, and I'm good. I don't know I if we're able to say, I don't know if we're able to believe that coming from you, Shannon. I think you want all <laughs> I get, that. I, I get think the you want all that, that you, on top of I get the point that you're trying to make. And no. last night, they got an eye formation and ran the ball, and it was incredible. But you got to marry the two things that you're talking about. If their weakest point is their defense, and their weakest point in their defense is their secondary, they're giving up big plays. We all understand that. Sometimes you're going to have to score a lot of points. And with Derrick Henry, you have to accept that Derrick Henry handing him the ball every play is not going to get you a lot of points unless he starts breaking off long runs, which is not something you can bank on. So, like, the idea that the Ravens have developed other parts of their offense, it may not always be the right thing to do at that time, but they're going to need that. We all know they're going to be, there's going to be a game like when they played the Bengals and they gave up so many yards and so many touchdowns. So, like, they have to do this. The Eagles have a defense that's centered around their great young secondary that is going to keep the opponent in check. So you can be a lot more comfortable just handing them the ball. The Ravens didn't get their offenses going until they're down 10 points, and it's happened time and time this year. I think Lamar leads the league Pops. in comebacks from down two scores because Lamar's throwing the ball. But if you don't mind me asking that Cincinnati game, can you tell me how many times had they given Derrick Henry, and when they got to overtime, who took the game over in overtime? Yeah, Derrick Henry did. It was great. I, I'm oh. not saying don't give Derrick Henry the ball, but you act as if Lamar wasn't a part of it and Zay Flowers wasn't making plays and Bateman wasn't making plays. Like, I'm just saying that the recipe is not always handed to, to Derrick Henry. No, no, think, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. The recipe last night the happened recipe to be is more and they went for it on passing. fourth down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think every team would rather run more than pass. Every team doesn't have a Derrick Henry, to your point. But okay. that defense is a problem, man. Sometimes it's a problem. And if it's going to be a problem, you're going to have to have a quarterback <laughs> okay. that can put up numbers. Shannon, is the cross-examination done, or should I, go to, should I go to break? What do we, what do, we do? We're good? I we're think good. We're good. The defense okay. rests. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs>